Hello and welcome to the section 3.4 application walkthrough. In this section we were dealing with the uh, literal equations and just solving different equations or formulas for different variables that we have. Okay. <coughs> In the first section it says tell whether the formula correctly or shows correctly the relationships among perimeter length and width of a rectangle. So the, the basic formula of perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus the width. Okay. And so then really with all these, all you're going to do is look at, is there a way to get from this to each one of these equations that's given? Okay. And so really you're looking at like a true or false scenario here. Uh, let's look at number one. Well, number one is just solve for P, just like what I have. But I can get there if I go P equals. I'm just going to rewrite my equation. And if I distribute the two, I get P equals 2L plus 2W. Okay, so that one here is true. Let's look, for example, at number four. Now, is there a way to have P equals 2W plus L? Well, it doesn't look like it, right? Because I can't get rid of that other 2. All right, and there's no way to go and make that step. So I'm going to say that that's false. Excuse me. Okay. So that's just kind of a look at, you know, kind of a fun thing to do. See how many ways you can write the same the same formula, and I'll bet out of these two, since they both equal L, I'll bet one's true and one's false. Okay, and it's up to you to figure out which one is which. All right, down below, here we just have a lot of problems that are, you know, sort of like our uh, our practice problems. Some of them are a little bit tougher. Some of them are about the same. Okay, but here I have the area of a triangle. And I want to solve it for B, the base. Okay. If I'm looking at area equals one half times base times height, I could kind of rewrite that. That might make it a little bit easier to see what to do. I'm going to put B first. All right. And I'm going to sort of take this in two steps, I guess. I'm going to divide by H. I didn't mean to draw through that, but so I have A over H equals B times one half because the H's will cancel. And then I can multiply by two. So really I'd have two A over H equals the base. And so that's just another example of the same types of problems that we've been dealing with. Okay. The idea here is to peel off one layer at a time and just go one step at a time to get things away from the variable that you want to peel or the variable that you want by itself. Okay. And so I think that you guys have all the tools that you need to finish those problems. Uh, number, number nine would be a tricky problem, but I think you can do it. Okay. Just don't overthink it. Go one step at a time and you'll be fine. Uh, go ahead and Get this done, and good luck on the Mastery Challenge, and let me know if you have any questions. Good job so far.